I'm excited about this today. I'll tell you for why, because yesterday I was coaching Nick. Now Nick traveled all the way from York to come to Mottram Hall for a lesson. He was all arms and no body, but had no way of correcting it. Losing power, hitting weaker shots, and just literally getting so frustrated and seeing driver go shorter and shorter. So I'm gonna give you what basically we did in his lesson. But also, have a look at that. This is the brand new, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hit this in this lesson. I'm so excited, there will be a review coming out with this. So hit that thumbs up button if you wanna see a bit of a review compared to last year's driver. I've got the LTD X LS model here. How nice does that look? Okay, so let's just give you the two main reasons, okay? So if you are more arms than body in your golf swing, the main two reasons are, well, number one, you don't know how to turn through to target, okay? And the other one is, I see most commonly, is this stand-up motion, okay? Now think of it as simple as this. I wanna, I've, I've gotta put this down and, and distraught that I have to but this badminton racket really helps me. You've got to think, if I'm throwing a ball up and trying to hit it away in this direction, if my body moves up, where do my arms then travel? Well, the momentum of the golf club is going to carry them past my body. Equally, if I don't turn and transfer my weight, again, my arms and my body can't be synced up, so I'm going to have that feeling and that look of my golf swing being more arms and less body. So simple, two categories. One, you're either standing up, or two, you're not actually turning through to target. So all you're gonna need for this drill is two alignment sticks. So I've got my two alignment sticks, and by the way, if you're down at the driving range, just put these in a basket, because you can't put them into the concrete. You want them just behind where you're going to stand to that golf ball. So if I placed one here, and then one, like maybe two club heads widths apart, just to the left of it. Nice, simple setup. So again, we've got to get you matching up the arms and body and swinging through because, okay, I swing my arms like this, I look really armsy, I turn my body, but I make the same arm movement, I now look like I'm using these arms and the body in unison. And I hear it all the time. Golfers come to me all the time saying, how do I do it? Well, this is how. So nice and simple. To fix both of those errors, we've got to learn how we start this downswing and how we rotate through. And this is the crucial point, that start of the downswing to really get your body going. So I'm just gonna hit this one away here and I'm gonna put a slow-mo on as well and just show you and I can talk through this drill for you. So it's here and through. Wow, that driver feels good. Wow, that felt nice. Okay, so if you look at this slow-mo on the side of the screen here, the one thing you're going to notice, we've got one from face on and one from down the line, is as I'm starting this downswing, I'm making a turn and shift with my lower half first, and then my upper half is following. I'm working my right shoulder close to my right hip and then through. It's almost like I'm throwing a stone through and underneath me, again, that allows the arms and the body to be synced up, not this motion. So how I'd work this in your own bit of practice is first off, actually, I know it might sound boring this, guys, but it's really important that you do it in this process, this two-stage process, is first off, just place your golf club across your chest. Have these alignment sticks just out of reach. What I want you to do here is, is learn this sequence. Now look how I turn my hips now, but my alignment stick, or my golf club I should say, is, is still pointing just over the ball. And through. Well look how, if I had my arms out in front of me now, they can be synced up. This is exactly what we're looking to do. Really play close attention, look at the angle of the alignment stick compared to the angle of my hips. I keep saying alignment stick, I'm so used to using them. But the angle of my golf club, compared to my hips, and then the turn through. You're getting the sequence right in order to allow you to move the arms and the body together. And that's so vital. I'm gonna rob this from Jack Nicholas. He's a good player, wasn't he? Probably one of the best players of all time, right? If I had a little line on the side of my head here, we wanna move up in this way. We wanna not move through. 
we'd want our head to stay just behind that line in this sequence to allow us to move the arms and the body through in unison. So nice and simple, that first stage, all we're gonna do, all I'm gonna ask you to do, and you could even do that first stage at home to be fair, with the side of the sideboard of the kitchen just behind your bum, really working through that transition of lower goes, upper half follows. That's how you get the arms and the body working together. The next stage is, is to simply make some reps and some slow reps. I'm a big believer in slow reps because slow reps actually allows your brain to compute what you're trying to do. The goal swings over in a flash, sometimes one, a quarter of a second, sometimes, gone. Okay, especially that downswing. So if we just made some swings now, keeping our bum in contact, and look at this, this is what we're hitting arms and body with. Feels wider, it feels more through the golf ball, as opposed to this. That's no good for anybody, right? We're gonna make that swipe, we're gonna go through intermittent success, and I don't want you to have that intermittent success. I want you to be able to stand on here, all confidence, and ready to go at the game. So, if I had a football in my hand, and I was throwing it, I'd do it like this, wouldn't I? I wouldn't do it this way. Final thing here is to actually just hit some away. On the golf course, I would build it into your pre-shot routine. Don't be scared of that. Don't be scared of that, bringing it into that pre-shot routine. One practice swing, up, lower goes, watch this detail bit, really pay attention to this, and through. Second one, slow version. And then we just stand here and give it a bit of a rip. Thanks so much for watching. By the way, what a driver this is. I enjoyed hitting this. Yeah, and see you tomorrow at the same time.